you got to reduce that fraction. 11-year-old Seth Cook is a little boy with a big pencil and an even bigger problem, math. Like any school kid, Seth would rather be anywhere else. But math hey, class Seth. is where we found him first. How you doing? Good, how about you? Good, my name's Rob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think we have something in common. Really? I don't like math. <laughs> so this would be 14? With a disease that perversely turns years and numbers upside down, maybe it's no coincidence that Seth and Math have always been at odds. I saw your report card. You're passing. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't know the date on that report card, though. No. <laughs> oh, things have changed since the last report card? <laughs> a little bit. Though she had concerns, Patty believes Seth should go to public school rather than be homeschooled. But Seth's father, Kyle, was uneasy. Considering the fact Seth is just over three feet tall and weighs only 25 pounds. Dad was worried he was going to get picked on. Picked and on or get knocked over. and Get hurt. You were worried about that? Sure. If you stand him up right now, again, you know, next to his classmates, they just tower over him. Saturated fat by Seth Cook. On this school day, Seth is offering his sixth grade classmates a living lesson in nutrition. Saturated fat plays a big role in my life. My body is getting older faster than most people. But amazingly, what others see as a burden, Seth sees as a blessing. I'm one of 40 kids in the whole wide world that has progeria, so it's really neat. By the time he was in grade school, he knew that he was special, and we'd always told him that he was special. At 11, Seth is about the size of an average two to three year old, and this is as big as he'll ever get. He's a young boy trapped in an old man's body, no hair, wrinkled skin, and severe arthritis, especially in his knees and hips. But you remember it's his fragile cardiovascular system with the imminent threat of heart attacks, seizures, and strokes that poses the biggest risk to Seth and other progeria kids. French fries ribs, cheese, and cookies. Seth has to read nutrition labels and limit his fats. What are things that you want to eat but you just can't eat? I don't get crumby hash all that often. Still, Seth doesn't seem to dwell on what he can't have. He focuses on what he can do. And he's about as well-adjusted a preteen as you could find, who's best friends with his ubiquitous dog, a rat terrier named Bullet. Oh, I jumped close. right into that. And crazy oh, for nice Xbox move. games. How many hours have you logged with Xbox? I don't know. I'm, I'm happy, though, because Xbox doesn't tell you how long you've been playing. You don't want to know? I don't want to know. Even with stub fingers, a common characteristic of progeria, Seth has become adept at the Seth controls, an activity at which he can compete on an oh. equal footing. I think this is the home court advantage right here. But with fragile bones, he's fearful of playing team sports or roughhousing with rowdy friends. He said, those kids are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they run around. He goes, I get knocked over, Mom. He usually himself will not do something if he's not confident. Ready? Up. Buckle in. Keeping Seth physically right. safe is one thing, but protecting him from hurt feelings can be more difficult. Like the time a young girl was adamant that Seth was actually a toy. She walked up to Seth and told him he was not real. You're not real, she said. You're not real. Mommy, look at this boy. He's a doll. He's not real. And I was in shock. I didn't know what to say. I decided to apologize to Seth for how she had acted. And he said, Mom, why are, why are you sorry? I said, some of the things she said weren't very nice. I thought maybe they were a little bit rude. He says, Mom, she just doesn't know who I am. Yeah, she was very happy. We couldn't wait to play this trick again. That gave Patty the idea to introduce the real Seth to every incoming kindergarten student at Darrington Elementary School. She carried the coconuts home in a basket and set them on her porch. I realized there are going to be kids that don't know who he is, but in Darrington, we have control of that. On many Mondays, Seth reads a favorite book to an enthusiastic class of kindergarten students. Patty's plan is working for Seth and his new friends who enjoy his company so much they now seem oblivious to his condition. Is Seth the same size as we are? No. 
Will Seth ever be the same size as we are? No. And what do you think about that? That Seth looks different from you guys? Seth is really special to us. So, Mine Seth, too. thank you. Sometimes children seem more at ease with Seth than their parents do. Bye. Seth says he often attracts gawking from adults. This lady was staring at me, and she didn't even see the sign in front of me. She just ran right into it. <laughs> she kept walking? Yep. And went boom? Yep. Like right out of a cartoon? Pretty much. <laughs> what did you do? I laughed. I tried to wait till she got down the other aisle of the store, though. You didn't want to laugh in front of her? Uh-uh. And why is that? Because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. But she was kind of staring and being impolite toward you, so why would you care? Just two, two wrongs doesn't make her right. There's a big advantage to living in a small town like Darrington, population 1,200, where Seth gains confidence and security by knowing virtually everyone. Yep, there's the bubbles. We were buying bubbles for a game Seth Miracle plays with his dog. Seth, this is the first time I've ever put bubbles on an expense account. <laughs> And there was one more important purchase before we left, energy yeah, vitamins. Sure. <laughs> Something his mom discovered on our way out. Oh, my goodness. What? You're not taking those energy pills, are you? <laughs> those are mine. <laughs> like I need energy pills. <laughs> like you need no, energy pills. No, I need energy pills to keep up with you. <laughs> on this day, only the aptly named Bullet can keep up with Seth, chasing a tennis ball <laughs> and then going bananas over the bubbles. Now keep a close eye on Bullet as he crash lands. Ooh, 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 that's... And watch and listen to the biggest belly laugh so. from the littlest boy. Did you hear that thud? <laughs> I think Bullet needs a stunt dog. <laughs> How much does that laugh mean to you? Priceless. We try to get as many of those on tape as possible. Try to get my video camera out quite often. <laughs> We want to save that forever. <laughs> He's definitely a joyful kid. America's Got Talent salutes the dreamers, those who think they have what it takes to win a million dollars in the biggest talent competition ever held. So here's to you, Mr. Flexible, and you, horny guy, and whatever you are. America's Got Talent, all new Wednesday, 9, 8 central on N.